Hi, hello. So it is May 19th, almost two o'clock in the afternoon, but I've decided I want to do a readathon. It's supposed to rain today, which is why I was gonna do it today, but it's not raining today. I want to finish Clockwork Prince and then start Clockwork Princess and then hopefully get to Chain of Gold. Clockwork Princess is a little bit bigger than the other ones, but it's fine. Still kind of upset about that page that's messed up. Don't know if you guys saw that in one of my last videos, but one of my pages was messed up in my book. I'm going to try and finish Clockwork Prince today. Hopefully start Clockwork Princess. I am only on chapter seven, which is page 137. And I already have so many tabs because I am loving this book. The first book kind of was a drag. I didn't really like Will that much in book one, but he's starting to grow on me in book two. He's still a little bit of an ass, but it's okay. I guess it's just mostly because I don't know why his reasoning for being the way he is towards Tessa, but now that I know that there's a reason that's kind of not his fault, I mean, I don't know exactly what the reason is, but it's a curse is what I know so far. That kind of makes me be a little bit lenient on him in a way, but still, he's still kind of getting on my nerves. We're just gonna sit in sweats and we're gonna read. And I'm excited because I really need to catch up on reading. I want to hopefully finish these two books by the end of the month. Don't know if that will happen, but we're gonna try. I don't hate Will. I don't, I don't hate him. Not entirely. I do think he is being a little bit unreasonable, but if there is a reason why he's being like this, then I don't really know if I can blame him. Oh my gosh. He just admitted that he loves her. Sorry, spoilers, by the way. I feel so bad for not liking him now. Okay, so I am now on page 165 or 164 of the book. I took a break, I look insane. I took a break and I cleaned up the room a little bit, got rid of some trash, started doing some laundry, lit a little candle over there. It is, it is Mary Cookie by Bath and Body Works. I got this for Christmas and it just smells so delicious. It makes the room feel so cozy. I'm currently watching Kate Literature's video eating vlogs. So I'm actually going to go ahead and 
start doing my reading journal spreads for June. So this is my reading journal. It's not the best. I don't like the way that it looks, but so I have my reading logs for all of the books that I was reading. I have Clockwork Angel on here, which I did finish. I had Crescent City that I started, but didn't finish. I did not DNF though, because I do plan on reading it, just not right now. So I probably need to go ahead and mark this off. Nightbird, I did mark as a DNF. I'm getting rid of that book. Clockwork Prince, which is what I'm currently reading. And I also reread my Twilight graphic novel volume one, and I finished that in one day. Those are all the books that are on here. And then I have a back part for it. Then I have my reading goals. So my reading goals for this year are 24 books. So far I have two because I have Clockwork Angel and then I have the graphic novel. And then I have two quotes from two different books. Or no, they're from the same book. I also keep track of the books that I buy and the subscription box books that I get. That didn't really make sense. So these are all the books that I bought. And then these are from subscriptions. I have my TBR, which I don't like this page. I would just rip it out, but it has the subscription stuff on it. Then I have my Days Read page. So April was a little hit and miss. But then I have my May, which I know I didn't read every single day for the past two and a half weeks but I can't remember what days I did and didn't read. The books, the date, and the ratings that I gave. So Clockwork Angel got four out of five, and then the Twilight graphic novel got three out of five. And then I have a spot for my favorite quotes from books, and then I have all of my booktubers that I watch. Now I'm going to figure out what spread I want to make next. I wish I would have thought this out before I just started writing things out. I might actually... I'm gonna leave the reading goals page, I think. I might make a new Days Read page for June because there's no room to put it on this one. Actually, I could put it on this one. Because I know for a fact I'm gonna end up buying more books and I only have five spaces left to put them. I don't like my TBR page. I'm such a perfectionist, I'm wanting to make it perfect to the point where I don't know what I want to do. That's what I'm going to do right now. Hello, so it is the next day, and I don't remember if I told you guys where I was yesterday. I don't remember what the last thing I told you guys yesterday, so I'm on page 180 right now. I haven't read it all today, but I want to try and finish today. I want to. Right now, I'm about to go make me a cup of coffee. I do have to go to dinner with Colton and his grandparents tonight. We're going to go have dinner with them. But I'm wearing sweats today just because I have just been feeling in a mood of just wearing sweats. Like, I don't want to get dressed. I don't want to do makeup. I don't want to do my hair. I just want to be comfy. That's what we're doing. And I'm going to go make me a cup of coffee to get me a little energize. Okay, so it is now May 21st. I did not read at all yesterday, even though I said I was going to after I made my cup of coffee. But after I made my cup of coffee, I went in my brother's room and played The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners on the Quest. And I played that till like almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I just woke up. It's literally two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm so tired for some reason and I don't know why. I just did my skincare. I can't decide on if I want to stay in what I'm wearing today or if I actually just want to get dressed. Because when Colton gets home from work, we're gonna go to Walmart and pick some stuff up. I kinda wanna look cute today. I already put heat protectant in my hair so that way I can like straighten it or something. Yeah, I think we're gonna get dressed today. I really hate the lighting in here, but I am all dressed. I wasn't gonna wear something like this today, but I was like, you know what, let's do it. And then I'm wearing my Harry Potter wand earrings that I got at Universal. I'm obsessed. So I'm a little upset because I ordered Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix off of Amazon. And not only did they drop it out in front of 
the garage, which is fine. I don't really care. But, almost the entire back cover is ripped off of the book. And it was caught underneath one of the fold of the box. So, I'm a little upset because otherwise it's in great condition besides the fact that it's ripped on the back. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, so we're not talking about it, but she's a little orange. Impulsive decision, yes, but I really missed my blonde hair that I had and I said, screw it, we're gonna do it. And then I did it and if in a few days when I lighten it again, if it's not like blonder, I'm just gonna dye it red. It is now May 22nd, and I did get some reading done last night. Also, spoiler alert, to Tessa and Jim's first kiss scene. <laughs> oh my god, I'm now on chapter 10 though, so I am going to try and read some more today. The only problem is I got two hours of sleep last night, because it's like seven o'clock, almost eight. I got two hours of sleep last night, and I am exhausted. I don't even know why. I just had such bad insomnia. So I stayed up. I watched YouTube and switched between YouTube and Netflix and reading. I don't know if you can tell how tired I am by my voice. But I have my coffee, so we're going to see if this works for a few hours. If I get too tired, I'll probably take a nap a few times. Oh my god, guys, I have some freaking exciting news. So I just got an email saying that my Owl Crate box is out for delivery right now. It's Saturday, so I was not expecting it to get here because it said it wouldn't be here until Monday. But it said it should arrive by 10.45 a.m. I'm not really sure what time it is at the moment. It's 9 something. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm sorry. That was a surprise I was waiting to t uh, tell you guys was I caved in and I got my first ever Owl Crate box. And I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do either Owl Crate or Fairy Loot, but I've never been able to because I've never had the money. But it says it's out for delivery for today and I'm hype as fuck. <laughs> Okay, so now my package tracking says it won't be here until 4 in the afternoon. I'm going to keep reading for a while. If I get tired, I'll take a nap. So it was delivered to the post office. And we walked down there to go get it. But my post office is closed on Saturdays and Sundays. So I literally have to wait until Monday to go get my box. I didn't even put our P.O. box on the address and because they couldn't find the house, they took it to the post office. Guess I'll just wait till Monday. Okay, so didn't get my Owl Crate box today, which is fine, but I will get it Monday. But right now I am currently writing chapter two of Project Ooh. ZA. So. Okay, so it is May 24th. It is like 9.16 and the post office is open. I am going to take my tote bag because I don't want to have to carry it in my hands the whole time. And I'm gonna go pick up my owl crate box. So I was just gonna do a whole separate video for the owl crate unboxing, but I've decided I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in this vlog. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the owl crate unboxing. So this is my first time ever doing an Owl Crate box. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is what the inside of the box looks like. I'm so excited. Okay, so first is this. Um, here is the spoiler card, I'm pretty sure. No, oh my god, okay. So let's see what this is. I'm actually really excited. Is this a bag? Oh my god, this is so cute! So this says, may we meet again on different shores. This is adorable. Oh my goodness. 
I love this. I love the color. I love the texture. Yes. So this is the spoiler card. So this is expect the unexpected. And this is adorable. Okay, so this is Rule of Wolves. I don't know what this is. Grishaverse, yes. It doesn't say what it is. So let's go ahead and pull this off. It looks like a pillowcase, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it, oh, it's a tapestry thingy. So it says, we're all monsters now. That's adorable. From the Library of Grey London, inspired by the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab, Volume 2, Design and Collaboration with Forensic and Flowers. Okay. Oh, is this the book tin? Wait, stop it. Stop it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still, is what it says on the inside. Wow, this is Crown Captions Deadly Pirate Kings and Queens. That is adorable. I was literally watching um, Brittany the Bibliophile and she had like a bunch of these from Owl Crate. And I was like, that's pretty cool. She keeps like her bookmarks or her not her cards, but she keeps a lot of stuff in these. So I was like, but I'm so happy I got one. We have this monthly pen. So this says logic ends where love begins. So it looks like this. Oh my goodness. We got a sticker. So it says most, most myths are just truths covered in cobwebs. That's so cute. If this is a bookmark, I'm going to scream. You guys don't understand. This is the most, like, bookish stuff I've ever gotten at one time. That is beautiful. It says, hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. And then on the other side, it says, neither myths nor mysteries can hold a candle to the most infinite... I don't know how to say that word, a uh, spark of hope. So if you want to read that word, go for it. That's beautiful. I love bookmarks. I'm trying to have like a whole collection of bookmarks. And now we get to the book. So this is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it looks beautiful. I have no idea what this book is about. Where's my scissors? They're right here. But it says it's an Owl Crate exclusive signed edition. Don't know anything about this book. I didn't know anything about the box. So you also get a card from the author with the picture of the book on the back. Wow, it really is signed. Holy crap. I actually might read this at some point. That's amazing. I'm so excited. I don't know when I'll get to it because, again, I'm trying to finish... Uh, the in front of the vices and then start the last hour series this is probably the best thing that i've ever gotten that i've ever decided to buy for myself hopefully i will get to do next month because i would love to do next month that is my first ever owl crate box okay now that i've gotten the exciting stuff out of the way i am going to lay in bed well, not lay in bed, but sit in bed. I'm gonna read today so I can hopefully try and finish it because I'm almost done. I knew it. I called it from like almost the very beginning. I knew it. So, spoilers, by the way, if you haven't read Clockwork Prince, skip. Okay. <clears throat> I fucking <laughs> called it, by the way. I called it. Tessa is part demon and part shadow hunter. I called it. I knew it. I knew it from the beginning. I knew it from the get-go. That was going to be the freaking twist. Is yes, we've known from the beginning she's part warlock. Or, or, no, she's not a warlock. But she was part something. They thought she was a warlock. But she's not. She's part demon. And she's part shadow hunter. So she's half and half. 
I knew it. I knew it. Wow. Oh my God. It's getting so good, you guys. I am on page 314. I am devouring this book and I'm so happy. I'm gonna take a break for a minute because I'm about to go to the post office because I have another package coming or should. So I went and picked up the books that I bought off this girl from Facebook and she wrapped them and made them all cute and she sent me a card and she said, thank you for your purchase. I hope you enjoy your new books. These were some of my favorites, Maddie. She's so sweet, it's awesome. Oh my gosh. So I got the Mortal Instruments, the graphic novel. I have been wanting the graphic novel so bad. Sorry, you can't even see me. So bad, but I cannot find it anywhere to save my life, especially the first one. The second and third one I found at Barnes and Noble, but you can't find the first one anywhere and here it is. Oh my God, it's even more beautiful in person. Oh my goodness. Here it is, here's the front of it. So it's the 10 year anniversary of the Mortal Instruments and you it has gold sprayed edges that is on the inside inside <laughs> magnus alec but even the back is just jace but and then it says on the back that all the stories are true this is beautiful and it's in great condition Maddie, I know you know nothing about my YouTube channel and you've probably never seen any of my videos, but you have no idea how much this means to me. I get to add these to my beautiful collection. So thank you so much. And I will cherish these forever. This uh, bookshelf is starting to get a little snug. Um, I put the graphic novel here, but oh my gosh. It's getting a little snug up here. I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to arrange them. Okay, and now I'm going to sit down and try and finish Clockwork Prince and then start Clockwork Princess. No, no, I can't do this right now. I can't do this right now. I swear. But I'm almost at the end of the book, you guys. I can't do this. Okay, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. Mm. Oh my god. <sighs> Chapter 17, you guys. I'm so scared. I thought Will was about to die right then and there. Oh my god. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. That was too much. That was too much. So I'm now on Chapter 18. <laughs> the end of Chapter 17 was mind-blowing oh. if you guys have not read the infernal devices please 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 read it because oh. the first one is kind of i don't want to say boring hang on i oh. i don't want to say any spoilers poor will like for real, this poor kid is, I can call him a kid because he's younger than me. Well, not anymore. I mean, he was born in the 18, 1800s? Yeah, the 1800s. Technically speaking, I'm older than him. <laughs> this poor kid has been through so much from being cursed when he was a child to losing his sister to leaving his family because of his curse because anybody who loved him would die. And then finding out that the curse isn't real, it doesn't exist, I mean it exists, but it didn't take effect because the demon that put it on him was 
not strong enough to lay a curse on him. So he went five years thinking that he was cursed and he wasn't. And it's just, like that's so sad. And it's like, it's sad because deep down he's a genuinely good person and, and he said so many hurtful things to Tessa just so that way she wouldn't fall in love with him. He did it for no reason because he's not actually cursed. That's so heartbreaking, like that's so sad. Bitch, I am tabbing it up. I don't think I've ever tabbed a book so much as I have this one. The first one is a little boring, I'm not gonna lie, but it does get better. I cannot wait to see what Clockwork Princess is gonna be like. I have a feeling I'm gonna cry. I thought Will was gonna die in this book, but I think it's the last one that he dies in. Like, you know the characters die because they're not alive in the Mortal Instruments. The only ones that are alive in the Mortal Instruments is Jim and Tessa. That's it. And there's reasoning for that. And we all know why Jim is still alive because he becomes a silent brother. Like, that's obviously... I just don't know how he becomes a silent brother. That'll be interesting because I think that happens in the last book too. But Tessa's immortal, I think. Okay, so I am now on chapter 20. I haven't started it yet. I just stopped because I need to take a break. I am so close to being done. I feel like I'm burning out. I'm gonna take a break for a minute. <laughs> this book has shaken me to my freaking core. So I just finished the book, but there's extra stuff in here that I want to read. I just have to say, the amount of plot twists in this book... <sighs> Fuck it. Oh my god, if you know how the book ends... How, how can Cassandra Clare do this to me? Because now I have to pick up book three. I was gonna take a break, well I'm gonna take a break, but like... I was gonna wait and read another book that's shorter and then pick up the third book. But now I don't even want to do that. I just want to get straight into the third book just to see what Will does, what happens. There's just so much that's happened. I barely even tabbed the end of the book because so much was just going on. And there was so many notes. So like, um, Oh my god, just so much was happening. This was so good. And I'm so proud of myself for finishing it in the month of May because I didn't think I would get it done, but I did and I'm proud of myself. Yeah, so that is the end of this reading vlog because it was the Clockwork Prince reading vlog. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.